Hi, in this video I'm going to introduce the new features in Yachtspot 4G plus Wi-Fi. Um, first of all, let's start with the hardware. Um, for users of our um, earlier product, the Yachtspot Wi-Fi, you'll see that the, uh, the hardware has changed. The new hardware uh, comes with uh, two N-type connectors on the, on the top of the box for uh, connection to uh, external uh, an external Wi-Fi antenna and an external mobile antenna. On the on the bottom of the unit, there is um, the usual uh, power over Ethernet um, connector on the right hand side, and in the middle left there is the uh, the cover for the the SIM socket. I'll just bring in a picture of the SIM socket when it's when it's opened up you see the cover just unscrews and you insert a SIM with the notch on the right hand side towards you and the contacts um, face down um, the only thing you need to remember is that you should uh, turn off the power to the socket um, when you uh, either remove or insert the card Okay, let's, um, let's remove those and I'll bring up the interface. <coughs> this is the new um, V7 firmware um, that comes with Yachtspot 4G plus Wi Fi. Um, I'm just going to show you the, uh, the mobile, uh, mobile pages in this video. Um, this is, uh, I'll, I'll just go through this again. This is the uh, connect page. Should we bring it in? You'll see um, that when the page loads, it gives you uh, an indication of the signal strength and the available uh, technologies um, that you can connect to. Now I can get 4G here. If 4G is not available, it will show 3G and also, if there's only 2G available, it will show uh, 2G. Um, okay, let's uh, start at the top. The the mobile connection status is um, a small application uh, that runs um, inside the web page and gives you details of um, the connection um, throughout the, uh, the process of connecting and afterwards. Um, this is very similar to the uh, uh, the same uh, small application that runs on the uh, Wi-Fi um, easy logon and advanced logon pages um, and I'll demonstrate that uh, when we connect in a minute I'll just go through uh, the other parameters um, <coughs> we have a, a small button to reset the modem um, if for some reason you're not connecting um, you can reset the modem without having to reboot the uh, entire yacht spot um, update the APN list. Uh, this uh, Yachtspot actually contains a list of all the uh, mobile network providers in the world um, in an, uh, an XML file. Um, obviously the, this list um, will be periodically updated um, and you simply click on this button and it downloads. It, it, it checks if there's a new a new version and if there is it downloads and installs it into the yacht spot. Okay to use the uh, to use the select service APS list um, you simply select the country in this case um, I'm in the United Kingdom there you go I select the provider in this case I'm using EE and uh, select the service uh, th this uh, the service is actually the APN name there is only one for EE some of the uh, service providers have a, a selection of different um, different APNs depending on the service that you're uh, buying from them okay so as you see when you select the uh, you select the <coughs> the APN it puts in the parameters for you automatically so it's put in the APN, the username and the password um, 
there are other ways for you, you to insert the the APN name, the username and the password. You can do so just by man manually typing them in or you can use the APN list. Um, the APN list is uh, is similar to the uh, access point list on the on the Wi-Fi pages. Um, to insert uh, your details into the access point name list, you simply click on a field, click on add name, and you can deselect it and close it and that, that saves it for future use so if you came back instead of going through the APN list you can simply add it from this APN list <laughs> okay <coughs> so let's just close that down and we come on to the um, the advanced options you can uh, set those to the default settings if you're uh, inserting uh, these details manually. Um, let's move down. You can insert uh, a PIN number if the SIM card that you're using is uh, is locked by a PIN. Um, the the next field is uh, Keep Alive. Um, there are two settings here. You can either connect on demand. With if it means if you're disconnected then you re you will need to come to this page and click connect again but you can choose that should the connection fail which which on some network providers uh, time out connections perhaps every two to four hours that the yacht spot will detect that and just reconnect it will also reconnect um, if you reboot the yacht spot um, next field is authentication um, that is normally uh, is normally set to PAP if if you have a username and password if there is no username and password then probably none but uh, some providers may use CHAP many will support all of them <coughs> and the next field is the service level um, you can force Yotspot to only connect over 4G, 3G or 2G. Um, I, I've found by, through practical testing that the automatic connection um, seems to, to work absolutely perfectly all the time. Okay, the next fields are for setting uh, your DNS servers. It will replace any servers received by IPCP, but um, again, it's probably unlikely you'll ever need to do this. <coughs> if DNS Blaster is enabled, it will query um, both of the both of the servers simultaneously, and in addition to the ones supplied on the DNS and passwords page. And there are two further fields that you'll, you'll probably never need to use unless you're in contact with uh, Yotspot support. If you're having some kind of issue, we can um, ask you to add additional AT commands and additional entries to uh, a PPP file. Okay, so we've entered our APN username and password. And in most cases, you'll just come down here and click on Connect. Connection normally takes somewhere between 30 seconds and a minute. Um. Okay, well we, we've cut that short for the sake of the video. As you can see, the, the small application, uh, mobile connection status, um, is now running. Um, and it's around every 20 seconds it polls the yacht spot to find out um, what's going on. Um, as you can see the mobile interface is up um, you've got an IP address from the base station and the yacht spot can ping Google so that that means that you should have a perfectly working connection you can just test it if you want there we go 
and that's it you're connected to the internet over 4G I'll just show you the network status page now that the uh, mobile f interface is up and it shows that you've got uh, an IP address um, it shows that you receive these two DNS servers um, from the base station over IPCP and that you've got two additional DNS servers here that were added DNS servers and passwords page um, and because you're using DNS Blaster all four of these servers are being queried simultaneously and the result from the the server that replies the fastest is returned back to the client so the the only other page um, we're left here under uh, mobile information is the 4G info page we just click on that okay as you as you can see the uh, when you click on the the info link um, you go straight to this page um, and the hotspot indicates that it's now scanning the mini PCI e card and the SIM card to give you uh, oh, there we go and give you uh, s some real time information about what's going on. Um, of most interest to users here will be the IME you know what? IMEI number, the IMSI number and the ICCD, CCID uh, number. Um, if you're having problems with, with uh, your mobile network and you phone your mobile uh, network provider they may well ask for one or, or all three of these numbers so that they can identify your device um, and and check out what's happening on their network and why perhaps it's not connecting okay so that's uh, that's an outline of the features of uh, our new 4g plus wi-fi product um couldn't be more simpler thanks for watching bye